So this question says, in the xy plane, the point PR lies on the line with equation y equals x plus b, where b is a constant. So I'm going to write some of this stuff down. Okay, so we have an equation, y equals x plus b. We know that that's some line represented there. And we also know that the point P comma R is on that line. The question goes on to say, the point with coordinates 2P, 5R lies on the line with the equation Y equals 2X plus B. Okay, so we have another equation that is Y equals 2X plus B. And we're told that there's a point on that line that is 2P comma 5R. If P does not equal zero, what is the value of R over P, all right? So we take all that and we wanna find R over P. That's the question, all right? So here's the information, that's the info. This is the actual question. So how do we put all this together? Well, first of all, we're given these equations that have variables Y, X, and B. And then we're given these points that contain P and R. The question wants us to find something that has a relationship between P and R, right? The ratio of R to P, which means we're going to have to somehow get these into the equations here. Now, let's keep in mind that the point P comma R is just telling you that the X value at that particular point is equal to P, and that the R value at that particular point is equal to Y. And the same thing here. The X value at this particular point on this particular line is equal to 2P, and the Y value is equal to 5R. So if I replace the X and Y with um, its equivalent R and P, my Y equals X plus B turns into R equals P plus B, and my Y, sorry, Y equals 2X plus B turns into 5R equals 2 times 2P, right? Just replacing the X with 2P plus B. So now I write that again. I have R equals P plus B, and I have 5R equals 4P, right? Because 2 times 2P plus B. Okay, so now this looks like, you know, a system of equations to me. I know that my answer, I just want to find R and P. So uh, I need to get rid of the Bs. I don't want B as a part of my solution. So what would happen if I just subtracted this entire second line here? Nothing wrong with doing that. Um, it does have a purpose. The purpose would be that B minus B is now gone. And what I'm left with is now a relationship between these two equations that's only, that only involves R and P, right? So R minus 5R is negative 4R, and P minus 4P is negative 3P. So again, I'm still trying to figure out, well, what is R divided by P? So if I divide both sides here by negative 3P, what I end up with is negative 4 divided by negative 3 is 4 thirds, and then I still have r over p, right? And this would equal 1, because negative 3p over negative 3p is positive 1. Now, I don't want 4 thirds, or I don't want 4r over 3p, I want just r over p. So if I multiply now both sides by the reciprocal, right, by 3 fourths, now the 3's cross cancel, the 4's cross cancel, and I'm left with R over P is equal to 3 over 4. And therefore, my correct answer here is choice B.